little watering hole there, look. Right, Forestry Commission, Roborough Warren. Well, I'm going through here in a minute, but before I do, I just want to say how privileged I feel. I had to have a heart procedure done not long ago, an angiogram they call it, where they pass a catheter, a thin catheter up through your arm and into your heart and they have a look to see if they've got any blockages in your coronary arteries. They also did something, in, looked inside my left ventricle as well and I got an all clear. I don't have to have no stents, I've got no narrowing or, or stenosis as they call it. I still get breath or so, but I think I must be down to old age and lung damage from smoking in the past. My blood pressure's normal. I don't probably need these pills, but we'll have to gradually see what happens. That um, What they do, the perindopril is um, widen the vessels to let the blood flow better. I don't know if I need them. We don't. We, nobody really knows. Um, we'll see. Anyway, what I'm saying is I feel so privileged to be able to come out here and enjoy this beauty. They're right over there in front of me. I'm just going to zoom in. There's a little family of horses. Ponies. See them? They get more of them each year. They're having a nice little munch and keeping nice and cool under the trees there. Just met a man with two of his little teenage sons who have all got their rucksacks and their camping gear on and enjoying it so much they just told me they're training they said but you know to feel god you know I'm okay I can still come out here I did before I had that procedure I didn't know what they were going to find I didn't know if I'd have to have stents and things um you know, and I didn't really fancy having any foreign body in me, but I mean, I'm not saying people shouldn't have them. Of course not. It prolongs your life. Obviously, once damage is done to the arteries, you can't really, they don't really repair. I don't think. I think you have to have these extensions put in um, that act, that widen the ones you've got left to let the um, blood throw through. Right, so here we are, look. We're now going to walk down through. I think this is the one I wanted to explore. I, it could still be the one I've done. And it might have been a bigger one down there, because I'm sure it went off at an angle. Like diagonal, like that. So I, this could be the Christmas tree one. I'm not sure. Really. But anyway, we'll do this one in again. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. I wanted to explore all these different tracks anyway. It does feel a bit familiar. But, um... I know, all I know is when you get around the corner, if this is the same place I've been to before, um, yeah, because the other one, I think it is further down, was like much wider and the trees are really tall both, both sides, so I don't think this is the right one. And what I'm going to do is just go up, I might have to change my mind. Oh yeah, there's a track up there as well. Alright, you're brave. <laughs> Pardon? Yeah. A little lizard then. It's just in like a newt. Of course, if we go in here, 
you can see this is like a, a biking biker's paradise in here look where they can go over all different humps and bumps yeah all these tracks link up anyway they all link up yeah I'm not really sure this is, I still don't feel this is the one I want to do but I'll, we'll find out because what happens when I get down here instead of turning right like it left like it did before I'm going to turn right So this is Robert Warren, where they grow Christmas trees. I don't know whether they harvest these or they just stay like this. They, they were smaller ones. They look lovely though, don't they? Right, over and out for a minute.